5 inch this is the most optimal size for any mobile phone uh, anything more than 5 inch is gonna be a tablet or a cross between a mobile and a tablet so this is the Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime and uh, in this video I'm gonna be talking to you about this device so this is Gildan welcome to this video and let's get started Xiaomi has been very consistent on coming up with new mobiles across all segments and they are also improving their existing product line in every segment. So in this video, let's go ahead and talk about Redmi 3S Prime and figure out if it is a worthy successor in the great family tree of uh, Redmi. So Redmi 3 has a metal body and it has a plastic on top and bottom of the chassis for antenna housing. It is a 5 inch device which is ergonomically the optimal size for a mobile. Uh, the 13 megapixel camera is at the rear with a single LED flash. The fingerprint sensor and the speaker grills can also be found at the back. The battery is sealed in the body and it is not user replaceable. The bottom has a micro USB port and the mic. The top has a 3.5mm jack, infrared port and a noise cancelling mic. The mechanical buttons are all lined up on the right and the hybrid SIM tray is on the left. The 5 megapixel camera is on the front and the navigation keys are not backlit. The mobile feels very sturdy to hold and the size is just perfect for a single handed operation. It looks like a Redmi Note 3 mini variant in many ways. The mobile has an aesthetic appeal and a stylish look to it. It looks and feels premium and in my opinion this is the best size for a mobile phone. The mobile has a 5 inch IPS LCD capacitive display which is capable of 720p resolution. Well I had an issue with the color uh, reproduction of the display um, mainly because I couldn't find a pure white in it. So I went to the display setting and tried changing various settings here and uh, all I could find was there are three settings which is standard, uh, warm and cool. Uh, the standard preset has a very yellow tinge to it and the cool preset was over cool with the blue tinge overdone. I really found uh, no perfect white setting in this mobile. The display has good brightness and contrast levels on indoors. The ambient light sensor is very slow and it failed to adjust the screen brightness and contrast at multiple occasions when I was in direct sunlight. This is one of the least usable display under direct sunlight. I had to switch to manual display control under direct sunlight so that I can at least watch something on, on the screen. The outdoor visibility is one of the best features for Mi mobiles and since Mi Max I have been seeing a depreciation in that particular feature. The Redmi 3S and the Redmi 3S Prime are both powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 processor. The Redmi 3S Prime has a 33GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Though it is a mid-range mobile, it displays superior performance. Games or apps, the 3S Prime handles anything that is thrown in it. It handles resource intensive games with ease and the good news is that it does not overheat. The UI is handled smoothly and never did I notice any lag or stutter. It is good to see a 3GB RAM in the mid-range mobile and I hope other manufacturers follow suit. A telephony was also good on the mobile and I had no issues using the 4G VoLTE SIM on this mobile. A network latching was spot on and the call quality was perfect. The fingerprint sensor was very fast and accurate. Its placement at the back is also ideal for the finger to reach. It unlocks the mobile from a sleep screen if a valid fingerprint is directed. The loudspeaker is good enough for calls on speakers and occasional music. Overall the Redmi 3S is a solid performer in this price range and I would definitely call it a pocket dynamite. My favorite UI skin for Android, the MIUI is on version 7.5 on the Redmi 3S. The base Android version is Android 6.0.1. The device will soon get MIUI 8. Uh, right from the lock screen to the settings section, everything is optimized for better user experience. The MIUI has little or no pre-installed third-party applications or uh, bloatware as we affectionately call them. It comes with a few native apps that are feature-centric like the security app, scanner, recorder and the Mi Remote. The hardware handles the UI smoothly and MIUI is optimized well for hardware like any other Mi device. The Redmi 3S Prime has a 13 megapixel primary camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. The primary camera has PDAF autofocusing mechanism while the front camera has fixed focus. The camera UI is the same we have seen in any MIUI device and uh, we will not talk about it now because we have already talked about it in length. As far as the camera output is concerned, the Redmi 3S Prime is a very decent shooter. It shoots sharp images under ample daylight. It has a limited dynamic range 
and that is more evident when shooting with bright and dark areas in the same frame. HDR comes to the rescue and Redmi 3S Prime clicks fairly decent HDR images. This is not a good camera while shooting under low light as it gathers a lot of noise and the images are soft and shaky. The images from the front camera is also similar in terms of quality. I found the front camera practically unusable under challenging light conditions, but then you are actually paying Rs 9000. And for the price paid, Redmi 3S offers very good camera performance. The mobile is powered by a whooping 4100 mAh battery. For a mobile with such a huge battery, it is still a slim and sleek device. With the Redmi 3S Prime, I get about 2 days of battery life, uh, but the mobile takes painfully 3.5 hours to charge from 10 to 100%. Stress testing the mobile gave me about 31 hours of intensive usage and on a continuous video loop the device lasted for over 8.5 hours. On an average, I get about 4.5 hours of screen on time under normal day-to-day -day usage. For Rs 8999, you get a premium looking metal body design, a decent camera and display, and a dependable battery life. The Redmi 3S has a good software and hardware synergy and ultimately that results in good user experience. The camera performance is not great under low light and the display is not great under direct sunlight. If you are a frequent traveler and looking for a dependable budget mobile with a great battery life, the Redmi 3S is the one. So guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any other queries, uh, do leave your queries in the comment section below. And you can share this video and like this video if you really like it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is Giridha signing off. Until I see you in the next video.